And um, what I'm going to speak to you about today is how to create an online business. But more specifically, what I want this to be about is I want to answer your questions. So what, 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 you know, what do you need to have answered? What do you need to know? You know, what's stopping you from really achieving the, the online business or if you've started an online, an, an online business already, you know, what challenges are you facing? So what I want you to do is pop it in the chat, okay? So just pop it in the chat throughout. Um, uh, if you get any questions whatsoever come up, I want you to just pop it in the chat and I will do my best to answer any question that you've got. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm really laying it on here in terms of, look, you feel free to ask me any question whatsoever about digital marketing or entrepreneurship, anything upon anything. And I'm confident that I'll be able to answer your question. Now, if you've got really techie questions, you know, Jay, I keep on getting a 404 error on my website. How do I resolve that? Look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm probably not the greatest in terms of really some real techie stuff, you know, real techie techie. I like to outsource a lot of that stuff really, to be honest. Um, so, you know, if you, if you have really technical questions, feel free to ask me, but those are the questions that I might um, get a little bit stumped on. And that is like, you know, well, how, you know, with the, I'm trying to do some backlinking and I'm linking this backlink to that link. And then I've got a, a, a no follow link that then goes on to an apostrophe. You know, how do I then bring that back to the no follow and the do follow? You know, look, I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I will do the best I possibly can to answer all of your questions. Okay. So pop them in the chat. And I will um, go through, and at the end, I want to go through and answer all of your questions. So thank you very much, Bob, for your first question. Um, it seems you have an online business. Uh, you really need to have an email list. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to come and I'll answer all of those questions very, very, very soon. Uh, good to see you as well, John. Uh, likewise, it's good to see everybody on the call with us. Uh, so we've got my main man, Mr. Alistair. We've got Alex. Uh, really good to see Alex. Uh, Alekem. Uh, good to know that you're uh, on the call with us, Alekem. You know I'm going to reach out to you very soon, Alekem. Uh, I look forward to it. Uh, we've also got Brian. We've got Dave. Dave, it's good to know that you're on the call with us, Dave. Uh, I haven't spoken to you for a little while. Uh, we've also got Dimitri. Good to know you're here, Dimitri. Hazel, uh, nice to know you're here, Hazel. Um, Mr. Kevin, good to know you're here. Peter, uh, and lots of others as well. Robert, Russell, uh, good to see you all. Stan, Trevor. Um, all good to know that you're on the call with us. Um, now, just to give you a little bit of background, somebody was asking recently, it's like, right, Jay, you know, it's great um, that you're getting, delivering some content, but, you know, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Look, I've been doing digital marketing now for just, uh, I've been doing it full time now for, for almost 10 years. Um, it was January the 11th, 2013, that I left my day job and started concentrating on this full time. So January the 11th, 2023 will be my exact 10 year um, anniversary that I left the day job. Um, look, I just really wanted to leave the day job and start having a lot more success. That, that was my main aim. Um, and, you know, I reached out to people like Simon Coulson to mentor me. I literally begged him to mentor me. And he said, look, Jay, look, we do have a training company, you know, so, you know, we can train you. But I was like, look, I want to stick to you really closely. I want to stick to you like, like glue. And that's exactly what it was that I did. And as a result of that, you know, I really started to learn this game really well. And within six months of coming on one of Simon's courses, his three-day diploma workshop, I was able to leave my day job and start having a lot more success. You know, um, fast forward a few years, and we've done literally millions of pounds over the last couple of years alone, uh, clothes and sales and commissions and all that sort of stuff, which is great. Um, you know, I've done lots of different things from affiliate marketing to digital marketing agency to online courses. I've even dabbled with eBay and Amazon and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so this is all I do. Now I have a, a great mentoring program um, where I'm really helping people achieve results. So for me, I've got fed up, you know, I've got really fed up of delivering training, you know, however, only focusing on the strategy and not necessarily focusing on, you know, the mindset. So I do a lot of that stuff now, the whole mindset, but also help people with business plans, hold people accountable um, all the way through to them achieving some great success. And we've had some great success stories um, along the way, which has been great. Uh, good to know that you're with us, Queasy. Nice to know you're with us, uh, which is great. Uh, likewise, Ray um, and Billy as well. Great to hear from you. Right. So let's get started then. So let's talk a little bit more about how to start an online business. And then I want you all to fire away with your questions. I mean, look, whilst I'm going through all of this, pop, pop your questions in the chat. And then um, as soon as I get to the, the relevant bit, I will stop and I will answer all of your questions, okay? 
So here we go. So what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about how to go about starting an online business, you know, how to identify the best business for you. And also what about your business plan? Okay. What does your business plan look like? You know, one of the things of what newbies to business always do is we get started, you know, creating an online business, but we have no plan. You know, it's just, I just want to make some money, Jake. I just want to make some money. So it's all right, cool. I'm sure we all just want to make some money, but what's your plan? Well, you know, I heard through a friend of a friend of a friend, he done a course and they said, all I've got to do is this Facebook ad. Yeah. <laughs> Chances are you're going to need to, to need to do more than that. So, you know, what's your plan? What's detailed within your plan? That's really, really, really important. But let's get started with, first of all, you know, online business models, you know, how you go about starting a business, but, you know, what business models are out there, you know, for you to actually, you know, even get started within from an online point of view. You know, you've got things like e-commerce, eBay and Amazon, okay? So e-commerce, so these are all of the different things of what you can be doing, okay? So you've got e-commerce. I'll show you some examples of e-commerce. I'm going to show you examples of all of this in a moment. What you've got to do is you've got to pick one. And the thing is, is that with all of this stuff that I'm about to go through, that I can't tell you, oh, this is the ultimate one that's going to make you a million pounds in the next 12 months. I can't tell you that. You know, ultimately, from these different business models, you need to make a decision in terms of which one fits you. Which one do you like the idea of? Because you can make money anywhere. Money is everywhere. It just now comes down to you to obviously pick and then execute on that business model really well. So you've got things like e-commerce, which could, can be, which can include things like eBay and Amazon, but we've also got, you know, business models like affiliate marketing, you know, something that I've done, um, you know, even up until this day, I started with affiliate marketing, I still do affiliate marketing. It's a great way of making money, it really is. And I'll show you more about that in a moment, okay? Or you've got things like information products or online courses, okay? These are things that you could be selling online as well. You've also got things like a digital marketing agency. Would you like to create a digital marketing agency where you're helping small business owners um, expand by doing all of their digital marketing services for them? You've also got things like domain auctions. So what I mean by that is this is where you can like, you know, buy and sell domain names, you know, and they, and they can go into an auction, you know, where you can obviously try and maximize your returns and hopefully, you know, the bids go up and up and up. You know, you've also got things like drop shipping, which is similar to affiliate marketing. Um, however, it's just with, you know, physical products and stuff. I'll talk about a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, blogging, you know, uh, another business model. Um, you could become an influencer, you know, um, on places like Instagram and YouTube. Um, you could also just use YouTube to generate income. You know, you could become a virtual assistant. You know, you could be, you know, generating income through um, doing other people's services, you know, like admin services, and you could be using things like Fiverr and, and, uh, and Upwork um, to allow that to happen. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. You've even got things like apps, okay? You know, like mobile apps on your phone, all right? So here are like the most common ones. Yeah, these are the most common business models that we will work at with, you know, from an online point of view. I mean, I've been trying to think of any others um, out there, but this is pretty much, uh, you know, the main ones, okay? So let's have some examples, okay? Let's have some, some examples. So let's start with e-commerce. So what am I talking about when we're making reference to e-commerce, okay? Let me jump into uh, uh, Google. I'm going to share my screen. So you should be able to see my screen appear on your screen now, okay? I'm currently on uh I'm now on Google, okay? So you should all see my screen. I'm on Google. If you can't see anything, please do feel free to let me know in the chat, okay? Right, so I'm on Google, okay? So let's jump into an e-commerce website like the Internet Business School, okay? This is an e-commerce website. So if you come onto here, look, you know, if I scroll down, look, there's lots of products of where you can buy stuff, yeah? Look, you've got all, it's all based on courses, but look, if I click on here and come down, for example, right, look, here are all of the courses. So in which case, let's just say, for example, we'd like the look of, um, of this course, for example, this is one of my courses. So look, if you click in here, 
which just allows me to click in there, right click in here. And then look, people can now come on here and here's the price. You know, they can go to add to cart and then they can buy. So that is an e-commerce website, okay? So what we need to do to set up an e-commerce website is we would need to use like an e-commerce platform. No doubt you've heard of things like Shopify, okay? Shopify is a really straightforward e-commerce platform that you can use. It's very much like drag and drop. So it's really easy. It's very simple to use Shopify to, you know, start creating an e-commerce store. It does cost you a little bit of money, okay? Um, it will cost you, let's have a quick look. You know, they've changed that. Uh, they always change their prices. Let's have a, let's have a quick look. Um, see how much they cost nowadays. Uh, shop pit fire. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, come down here. Now, there are other platforms, like his pricing. There are other platforms that you can use, okay? Like even WordPress, you can use something called WooCommerce, which is a plugin, okay, for, um, for WordPress that will turn your website into an e-commerce website. So it's called WooCommerce, W-O-O Commerce. That is the plugin for WordPress. We teach a lot on WordPress, so that would be the plugin. But if you're just getting started and you just want a Shopify store, the, you know, just an e-commerce store, but sometimes it's just easier to just use this. You know, so look, you can get started with as little as 20 pounds a month, okay? 20 pounds a month, really straightforward stuff, drag and drop will allow you to create um, an e-commerce website pretty straightforwardly, um, and then you can go forward from there, okay? Um, just like this, okay? This is actually built using something called Kajabi, okay? So it's another type platform for e-commerce, but it's called Kajabi. Um, but you've got lots of, you know, other platforms out there. Um, uh, EKM Power Shop is something that we also recommend because they're based in the UK. Um, so it helps when it comes down to um, Google rankings, okay? So that would be e-commerce. Now you've also got obviously like eBay and Amazon, which would also be, that is, that is e-commerce, okay? It's, you're, you're selling stuff directly online where you're now gonna be shipping things out to people's uh, houses. So in which case that's e-commerce. They've got a physical product, you know, you're gonna be shipping it out to, um, to people. So what typically, you know, you might wanna do if you like the idea of e-commerce, you know, if you like the idea of eBay on Amazon, I was doing a little bit of research earlier on. Some of the things of what I used to sell quite a bit um, on places like eBay were water filters, okay? Like water filter jugs, yeah, stuff like this. So I just done a little bit of research this morning um, to see whether or not there are still margins to be had. So what a lot of um, uh, marketers will do is they might use companies like Alibaba.com. So this is Alibaba. And what I can do is look, I can come onto alibaba.com, which is here, of which, you know, you've got items that I just put in here, water filter jugs, yeah? Water filter jugs. And we see what appear. So you've got things like, you know, look, we're talking around about, you know, $8, $8, $8, you know, so it's not too expensive, $10, you know, all right, a little bit more expensive there, $2, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but we're talking around about $8. So I can buy these in bulk, you know, and I can contact the seller. So this is on Alibaba. So for those of you that are not familiar with Alibaba, it is the oriental version of eBay. However, it's even a lot cheaper than eBay, okay? So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm on Alibaba. I can buy a bulk order of these if I want to. So I can contact the person, the supplier, and I can then say, right, I want to buy, um, say, I want to buy 20 of these. So can you give me a, a cheaper price? You know, um, uh, can you give me a cheaper price for that? You know, for 20 or, or 50 or whatever it is that you want to do, okay? And they'll obviously give you a, a, a price based on the amount that you're ordering. Because when we then go over to eBay now, look, look how much they're selling for on eBay. So we're buying them and on average, it's costing us around about $8, for example. We're now selling it on eBay for 25 pounds you know, up to 44 pounds. And they're all, you know, more, more money than what you're buying them for. Look, you know, 16 pounds, 28 pounds, 20 pounds, 18 pounds, 28 pounds. Whereas all the ones that you're seeing here on Alibaba, they're going for eight pounds or $8. This is pounds, that's dollars. So you can see there that 
I mean, this is what we do, you know, you just buy and you sell, you know, so it can be really quite straightforward. Alibaba, you know, um, they will get that shipped across to you. It might take a little bit of time for the order to come across to you. It's not like ordering something on Amazon where it's like delivered the next day. It's got to come all the way from China, for example. However, you know, within a couple of weeks or so, you've now got um, a, a great little business there. So this is stuff that I was doing for quite some time is buying and selling water filters. So we're buying in packs of 200, you know, water filters, like the actual little, the little filters, you know, we're buying them in packs of 200 and then selling them in packs of, um, uh, in packs of eight on eBay, you know? Uh, so it was, it was, it was, it's costing about $8. Again, again, around about eight pounds to my door, $8. We're selling on eBay for about 18 pounds. Um, so we've done really well, okay? Um, you know, we've done okay. Uh, why would somebody order on eBay if they can order on Ali? But, you know, who knows about Ali? Does everyone know about Alibaba? Do you? You know, if you think about it, everybody on this call, how many times have you ordered from Alibaba? Remember, you've got to, it takes a little bit of time to get the, you know, to get the delivery to be delivered to you, yeah? In addition to that, you know, people might not always feel comfortable with it. It's coming all the way from China. You know, how many of you have ordered from Alibaba? How many, compared to how many of you have ordered on Amazon? So I hope that answers your question, uh, uh, to, 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 uh, Serini, yeah? I hope you got your name, your, your name right. So hopefully that answers your question. You know, how many times have you ordered on Alibaba? Yeah? So that's the reason why we do it, okay? Um, because, you know, people are not always confident with, with ordering on Alibaba. But you can see how it can work. You can see there's a margin there. And that's all you pretty much need to do, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Again, feel free to pop your questions in the chat and I'll come to it uh, very soon, okay? Um, and then we've got other business models like affiliate marketing. Now, um, as I mentioned, look, affiliate marketing is something I've been doing for many, many, many years. Uh, and look, it is pretty straightforward, okay? Um, to get these things to work. So let me show you what I mean. Look, it can be as simple as this, all right? I'm gonna jump into Facebook right now. It can be as simple as, um, Say, for example, if I jump into, uh, no, let me jump, I'll show you this one. Here we go. So if I jump into here, so this, believe it or not, is uh, a page that we've used for affiliate marketing. So what we'll do is we'll grow an audience, yeah, using this page, we'll post content that is relevant to our audience, you know, so our audience are, are, are engaging with this content, of which they then click on the affiliate link, okay, via Bitly, they click on the link, of which they land here. Once they land here, once they join up for free, that's when you get paid your commission, yeah? So this is what you call CPA affiliate marketing, where you'll get paid for an action. Some of you no doubt have heard me talk about CPA before. This is where you get paid for an action, um, so basically the action required on this occasion is just getting people to sign up for free. So if they sign up for free, for anyone that signs up for free, I will then get paid at $7.95 every single time somebody clicks on this link and signs up for free. So all we're doing is we're advertising on places like Facebook. We're then driving, you know, posting content that is relevant for the audience and then driving people across via the link to here. They, they, they sign up with a free profile, you know, and that's when I get paid, yeah? Just like that. So that's one form of affiliate marketing, but you've also got, you know, other ways of doing affiliate marketing, you know, like coming on to, uh, like, like this, this is my website, but watch this. If, you know, people are, are, are finding me more, in, you know, they're interested in some of the things of what I'm working with. Uh, if you scroll down and you click on, say, for example, that I'm talking about affiliate marketing here, you click on that link here and look, it will take you to the internet business school via my affiliate ID. You see the affiliate ID, which is 114. That's what tracks everything to me. So in which case that's me driving traffic from my website, you know, to my affiliate links of where people then um, uh, 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 go on to buy something. And that's when I get paid a commission, okay? So I hope that makes sense. So there's one example of driving traffic directly to an affiliate link, you know, by creating a bit of a presence on social media. You can do the same thing with YouTube, create a bit of a presence on YouTube and then drive them across to your affiliate link. But the same applies on a website. 
You know, it's about creating your website and then driving people from your website to an affiliate link, okay? And that's it, that's it. That's the process. So the, 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 the most important thing here uh, for us all to do is to not complicate this stuff. It's straightforward. You know, the, the mastery around all of this is how to drive the traffic, you know? So in which case, right, you know, with this, these pages, you know, it's about creating, you know, a following. You can use ads for that, but then it now comes down to creating the right type of content for your audience that they're going to respond well to. Because you might create pages, you might get some followers, you might start posting content, but no one is engaged with your content. This is where typically sometimes people then come to me and say, Jay, I tried that, Jay. That don't work, Jay. That don't work. And I'm like, well, let's have a look over your content. I look at the content and the pictures are all pixelated. It's nothing to even do with the page of what it is that you're promoting. There's no call to action, you know? So that's the mastery of all of this stuff is how to get a targeted audience, a good community, and then start driving people towards wherever it is that you wanna send them, okay? That's the mastery is the traffic. Likewise, we might ask Jay Hastings website. You know, people are finding this website based on the fact that I'm on Google. So if you Google Jay Hastings, this is what is gonna appear on the front page of Google, on, on the number one spot of Google. So people are, they see me on webinars, they might see me on stages. So people are Googling me, that's how people are finding this web page. However, ordinarily, you know, you would need to do something similar, you know? So you might need to get ranked on the front pages of Google for the search terms based around the product or services that you are now trying to promote, you know? So in which case somebody might Google, you know, um, uh, best online dating app, you know, for example, of which they then end up on your website because you've done a bit of a review about all of the different dating apps of where you then got an affiliate link that then leads people on to those affiliate links. So we need to get ranked for like best dating apps. For example, you'll have a website there and then we can drive people to wherever it is that you wanna, want them to go. Likewise with YouTube, you do a video on YouTube and then you can then give a strong call to action to get people across to directly to the affiliate link or you know, via a website, for example, okay? So I hope that makes sense, all right? I hope it makes sense. Again, by all means, feel free to pop it in the chat and I will come back to that very, very, very soon, okay? Um, let's jump back into here, right? What we got next? Okay, right. So we've done affiliate marketing, right? Information products and online courses. You know, a lot of you would have heard of Simon Paulson's story of, of how he got started with his Bulgarian property guide. Yeah, his Bulgarian property guide. So basically, information products are exactly that. You know, it can just be a book based around, you know, how to get a job, how to do this, how to do that. So, you know, somebody that has got a heck of a lot of information products will be people like Rick McMahon. Yeah. So some of you might have heard of Rick McMahon. The, uh, the, uh, the owner and founder of How To Become. Let's have a quick look at what I'm talking about here, okay? So let's jump into it uh, right here. Okay, right, so let's go across to Rick's website. How To Become. So on here, look, you've got all these guides, okay? Information products, that's all this website is, is one big e-commerce website, which is all promoting um, information products about how to do things like these are all guides on how to you know become an army officer how to get past tests and all the rest of it but all it is is an information product you know so if you've got some good value you know um, of what you can offer um, then you can create an information product again put it online and we can start selling it you can use places like clickbank okay clickbank some of you might have heard of ClickBank, right? So what ClickBank is, ClickBank is an affiliate network, okay? So what I mean by an affiliate network is ClickBank, when you're signing up for, to, to, to do things like affiliate marketing and stuff, um, we need to join up with a network. And a network is just the middle person that sits between somebody that wants to promote stuff as an affiliate and somebody like me that wants to have stuff promoted as an affiliate. So say how to become, you know, you've got Rick McMahon's uh, product here, you know, he might use ClickBank as, you know, the, as a, as a, as a, um, 
uh, as a seller. Yeah, like he's selling the products and then you will have loads of affiliates wanting to promote his products using ClickBank. So what I'm saying is, is that if you've got an information product that you think would be, that you would like to sell, one of the easiest ways is for you to sign up in ClickBank as a seller. Okay, so you come over to ClickBank. See, ClickBank specifically specializes in information products. That's what ClickBank is. It's, a, it's an affiliate network for information products only, pretty much. So you won't have like physical products being sold through ClickBank. So you would sign up. Say you've just written a book. One of my students was just looking into maybe doing a book around wild swimming, okay? Information around wild swimming. So if that's something that she wanted to do, she would sign up on ClickBank as a seller, okay? And then there'll be lots of affiliates that might look at that product that she wants to have sold, and then they will then start selling it for her in exchange for a commission, okay? But you're a seller, so you're then going to just obviously uh, make money. But as soon as you've got the product and you put it out there and you get a load of affiliates now going to now start selling your product, what do you now need to do? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Do you know what I mean? You don't need to do anything because you've already done the work. And now you've got all of the affiliates going out now to try and sell those products. Okay. So I hope that makes sense um, in terms of how that works. Um, what else was I saying? Let's have a quick look. Um, so online courses. So the Internet Business School has a whole host of online courses that I showed you before. It's an e-commerce website, but an e-commerce website that is selling lots of different online courses. So here is my affiliate marketing course here, but you can come on to here and go to all courses um, and you'll see obviously lots of courses that people can buy. So how you go about creating an online course, again, is really quite straightforward. It comes down to creating value, yeah? Like having value. And when I say value, I mean, what are you teaching? What are you teaching? You know, like, I know we want to make money, but remember, people are not going to just buy any old thing, okay? So, you know, courses just need to be of some good, great value of which, you know, providing it is of good value, people then will then potentially go on to buy your courses, Okay. So all you need to do to create an online course is exactly what I'm doing right here, right now. I'm, I, you know, this content of what I'm going through, this is being recorded. So this Zoom call right now is being recorded. So I can then, technically speaking, I could now, you know, obviously we give away Saturday school training for free to all of our, um, our, our students and stuff. However, what I could do is I could take this content and say, okay, right, now that I've recorded the content, I could now, you know, put this content on a platform like this and start selling it. Yeah. You know, this is using, we, we created this membership website or this, this, this uh, e-commerce website called it, um, using Kajabi. So I could do the same thing. You know, I could just now use Kajabi, put my course on there and away, away we go. So it's just about recording the screen, you know, using like things like PowerPoint. So I'm jumping in and out of PowerPoint of which I can just record all of this stuff, which, which we are doing, record it all. And as a result of all of those recordings, I can now put it online. I can now sell it. Okay. Remember, the key to all of this stuff is traffic. Yeah. We, yeah. It's all very well. We can create courses. We can create the best looking products in the world. You know, we need to be able to drive the traffic, you know, which comes from places like Facebook. You know, we can get ranked in Google. You know, we might want to use YouTube and Instagram. So social media is big nowadays, obviously, for driving traffic. You know, you can use ads like Google ads and Facebook ads and all this type of stuff. Um, you know, any platform that introduces ads as a new way of, you know, using that platform, that's where you want to jump on it. So TikTok is probably the most late, it's, it's a, the newest social media web uh, uh, platform out there. Are they using ads yet? You know, I'm not even too sure. I mean, I'm not big on TikTok. I haven't jumped into TikTok just yet. But if they've now allowed you to start using ads, that's where you jump on it. It's like when Facebook started, you know, first of all, you know, a, a launched their ad platform, you know, if you jump on it there and then you'll clean up because not everybody else and their dog is doing it. You know, it's like Google ads now. Google ads used to be really cheap. You could get like, you know, a, 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 you know, 5p a click, you know, 2p a click. You can't get 2p a click nowadays. You've got to be joking. You know, more like two pounds a click because everyone and their dog is doing it. You know, um, so that's how we get traffic now. And that's the key. 
That's the mastery of all of this stuff is making sure we know how to drive effective traffic. So here's another example of selling courses. Let me jump into my website here. So this is me selling courses. So I've got my website. You know, this is me um, where I'm just really helping people achieve the success that they're looking for. Um, of where, look, you can cl click on here, the courses, you know, people entering their details. So let me just, look, I'll show you. Say, for example, you just entering anything here. Um, let me just put in anything there. All right. And then, all right, let me see if this allows me in. Right, here we go. Ah, right, hang on a minute. Oh, right, hang on a minute. So look, so they're entering their details here. So let me put in an actual email address here. Oops, and connect. Connect. Business school. Dot com. Right, let's hope this works. Right, so yeah, here we go there. Yeah, so look, this is me selling online courses. Okay, so look, down here, you know, a bit of information down here. And then look, people can now buy using PayPal. Yeah, so this is it, you know, so we do this a lot. But like I say, how we go about creating the courses is really simple. You know, it's exactly what it is that I'm doing right here that you can see me do right here, right now. So it's just all about recording of the screen. So yes, you know, having some screen recording software, you know, can be quite useful, okay? Um, I use, um, if I'm not using Zoom, um, it will be Camtasia that I use to do screen recording, okay? Camtasia, okay? For screen recording, you just do a bit of a presentation and then away you go, okay? Uh, then we've got things like a digital marketing agency, okay? So this is where you're now, um, helping, you know, smaller businesses or, you know, you're basically doing all of the digital marketing services for a, for a company. So you might be building people's websites, you know, you're doing social media like Facebook, mark, uh, Facebook um, ads or Facebook campaigns, YouTube campaigns, whatever it may well be. So in order for you to really get moving with a digital marketing agency, you know, you can, um, you're first of all going to need a website. Let me give you an example of a really good digital marketing agency. Um, these guys here that I'm about to show you, these guys um, are former students of the Internet Business School, and they have gone on to kill it, yeah? You know, um, probably the, the, the top digital marketing agency that has come out of the Internet Business School, these guys are doing two to three million pounds a year, okay? You know, they've got um, companies, you know, they're doing um, uh, work with people like Direct Line and Groupon and stuff like that. And, you know, they do SEO. They pretty much do a lot of different things and they're, they're doing really, really, really well. So, you know, these are guys that you definitely want to maybe replicate. But you've got other people like, for example, I know this guy, Dental Focus, okay? Um, this is a digital marketing agency. Let me just do that, hang on. This is a digital marketing agency, but it's more niched, okay? So he's niched it right down, okay, to dentists only, okay? So, you know, he had an opportunity, um, you know, where he was asked a question, do you want to just go why? Do you want to just tell, you know, now that you've got your digital marketing agency, do you not want to just, you know, go, 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 instead of you know, sort of narrowing down on a particular niche, do you want to just go why? And he said, no way, you've got to be joking. You know, the reason why is because sometimes when you, when you, when you, you know, really niche down and you focus on a particular area, you know, a particular niche, you then become the go-to people within that niche. These people charge as much as £18,000 for a website, believe it or not, within this industry. But the exact same website that you and I can get built for like 500 quid, yeah? If that, I could probably get it built for less than that, you know, probably $150. Whereas because he's niched it and everyone within the dental industry is like, well, no, I want to go to Dental Focus because, you know, they're the leading, you know, they're the leading ones out there. Obviously, they're not going to know the ins and outs of, you know, how to build a website and, and all the rest of it. They just see it as some technical thing, you know? So in which case, you know, he can charge as much as 18 grand for a website, 18 grand, you know? All right, albeit that website will have all the, 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 the whistles and whistles and bells going, you know, you can book appointments and everything like that directly through the, through the website, but that's the benefit of niching. 
you become the go-to person. And if you go to one of these dentists that uses this company and you say to them, no, 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 come and use Jay's, Jay's marketing agency. They're like, well, do you specialize in dentists? Well, no, I specialize in everyone. Well, no, I'll stick with dental focus, thanks. Because that's, you know, they're, they're, they're the quality for my industry. That's why, you know, um, uh, niching is a really good idea in a lot of, in a lot of cases, okay? Uh, then we've got things like domain auctions, okay? So this is where you might want to buy and sell domain names, okay? So, you know, again, this is a good, a good model if you can find some really good um, um, keywords. So what you do, right, what you can do, right, let me just quickly show you, all right? I haven't got all the time in the world, but I'm going to quickly show you something, okay? Because look, this is just, this is just too straightforward, right? Just watch. Okay, I could jump into here. I could go into, let's just go to the keyword planner, okay? Um, some of you might have seen me use this before. It's just a free tool given by, by Google, okay? Um, to choose the right keywords, right, let's just jump into here. All right, uh, go to keyword planner, right? Let me show you what I mean. Uh, let's just use that account. Right, okay. So I could use this tool to give me an idea on what keywords I might want to go and buy a domain name for, okay? Because this is going to give you an idea on search volume. So if I typed in here, hair, oops, not like that. If I typed in here, hair loss recovery, for example, let's just say you're an affiliate or you're, you've got products based around this, look, this is now typed in hair loss recovery. It's giving me an idea on how many people is typing these type of keywords into Google, okay? So look at this, uh, keratin treatment hair loss. All right, I'm gonna, I won't, I won't keratin. I'm not really too, quite too sure what that is. So it's, it might be a brand. So I'm not gonna try and target a domain name that's already got a brand in there. Otherwise they might, they might, um, yeah, they might try and get me done for copywriting or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find keywords that are getting a decent amount of traffic, okay? Let's have a look at this. Birth control, hair loss recovery. It's getting some traffic, for example, okay? Um, so look, what I'm going to do here? I'm going to take that. Let's just say this is getting more traffic. It's getting between 10,000 to 100,000 searches a month, okay? That's what this, 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 this here is showing me. Yeah, how many searches on a monthly basis um, is this keyword getting. So let me now open up another tab uh, and let me go to a domain registrar like GoDaddy. And then let me click in here and let me just put that keyword in there, yeah? And search domains. Look, birth control hair loss recovery is, is, a, is, a, is available on a both .com and a .co.uk, all right? So what I could do is that keyword is getting traffic by buying this domain name, it means that by building a website on this domain name, you will then rank in the number one spot of Google for that keyword, hair loss recovery, yeah, or hair loss, best birth control hair loss recovery. You'll be in the number one spot. So I can buy a load of domain names that, you know, for a pound, it's gonna cost you a dollar. You know, I can buy a load of domain names that are getting traffic. And then I can put them in a domain auction right? A domain auction website uh, like Sidu, yeah? This is where I buy my domain names from, yeah? Um, so I bought my seriesaboutsuccess.com uh, domain name from Sidu. It cost me a thousand pounds, yeah? So if you're, if you're finding keywords that are getting traffic, you can then buy the domain names for like a pound and then pop them on Sidu and sell them for a thousand pounds. For example, you know, like I say, it doesn't have to be that difficult, okay? It doesn't. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea about um, domain names and auctions and stuff, okay? Uh, let me jump back to here. Uh, drop shipping. Now look, drop shipping is just like affiliate marketing, you know, um, where basically it's very similar. However, instead of going to an affiliate network and, and signing up like, like, um, uh, like um, uh, ClickBank, what you're going to do is, you know, you might do an affiliation. Say, for example, I've got water filters to sell and you want to sell those water filters. You will then contact me and say, right, Jay, can we do a joint venture? 
if I do all the marketing, you know, any sales that come through, you send it straight out to the customer, yeah? So it's like a little two-way thing of what we're doing in terms of, look, you drive me the traffic, any sales, I will send it out. So your job is to get the traffic. My job is to send it out to the customer and be the, um, and be the supplier, manufacturer, and all of that sort of stuff, okay? Um, so again, you need to contact people. Um, you can just Google drop shipping, you know, because there are companies out there that will automatically do drop shipping. Um, however, if there are, if there isn't any in a, in a particular area that you want to do drop shipping, you can contact people directly, get a contract going, and you can do it that way. Okay. Um, things like blogging, you know, blogging is a great way of making money. Um, look, TripAdvisor is the best example of a great blogging website. Yeah. For example, um, you know, they make a heck of a lot of money. Yeah. Like watch, uh, if I jump to TripAdvisor, so blogging is about obviously having a particular topic, having a particular area that you would like to talk about. Yeah. You know, TripAdvisor has evolved over time um, to where it is now, but it's still a really good example of a, of a massive affiliate site and a blogging site. It's a review website. You can review every single destination out there. But when you scroll down, um, look, all of these things here, uh, is that the one? Yeah, all of these things like here, any advertisements that you see, they're all paying TripAdvisor to allow advertisements on the TripAdvisor um, review website. So once you get a website like this and it starts getting really popular, you know, they'll all pay you. So if I click on a, let's see if we can uh, find one. Let's say, um, yeah, Las Vegas, yeah. Let's say like this. Look, you see here? You know, um, uh, uh, TripAdvisor will get paid to allow these type of advertisements on their websites. Or if you click on some of these websites, right, these, these banners, TripAdvisor will get paid, but they'll also get paid by promoting ways of how you can book the holidays, you know, how you can book a car, how you can book this, how you can book that. They'll also do that as well. So basically blogging is about, you know, a, 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 top, a popular topic of which, you know, once you start getting really popular, people will pay you to advertise on your platform, okay? Or you can use it for affiliate marketing as, as well. You can become an influencer. You know, um, no doubt we've seen a lot of, or we've heard a lot about influencers nowadays um, on um, places like Instagram and YouTube. All it basically means is that, you know, if you can get a lot of people following you, you know, on, on Instagram, then you will have, you know, companies that will pay you they will pay you to, you know, for you to um, promote one of their brands. Say if they've got a brand or they've got a watch or something like that, and you've got, you know, half a million followers, well, they will pay you ten thousand pounds just for you to wear their their items in your in your pictures because you've got a big following. That's what an influencer is nowadays. Just got it's just somebody that's got a lot of people following them. So Instagram and like places like YouTube, I've got some great um, uh, uh, influencers. But I mean, look, I'll show you one of my favorite influencers, yeah? I am on this website, or I'll show you. I'm, gonna, I'm on this like practically every day, not even practically every day, every day of my life, I follow these guys. Uh, some of you are gonna love this, some of you are gonna hate it. Some of you are gonna be like, no, Jay, what are you doing? Look, right here, you know, AFTV, Arsenal fan TV, right? For those of you that like a little bit of football, I'm an Arsenal fan. So you can come on here, look, you know, you, you'll see here, look, these people here, they're influencers. They've got a channel on YouTube, okay? Of which, you know, all they do is put out loads and loads and loads of videos, okay? They put out loads of videos. They get loads of people watching their content of which YouTube will pay them for allowing advertisements to appear on these videos. They've also got a load of sponsorship as well. So on every single video that they do, they're talking about Manscaped or, or, or some sort of, you know, screw or something like that, you know, something, you know, um, that's what they talk about, you know, because they're being sponsored to do that. They can also do affiliate marketing and anything that they're, uh, anything they want to promote, put it that way, you know? So it's just about putting out loads and loads and loads of content. Look, our very own um, Rick McMahon, who I spoke about earlier on, you know, look at his channel. His channel is pretty impressive as well. Look, he's got 2.18 million subscribers, yeah? And he's killing it on YouTube, yeah? He's doing really, really, really well. 
you know, um, look, he's putting out loads of videos based on career guides and career, you know, what to do with careers and all the rest of it. And again, look, he gets a lot of following, he gets loads of people following him, um, loads of people, you know, engaging in his content of which, you know, he can be, um, he would have um, people wanting to sponsor, you know, people sponsoring him and, and paying him to, for him to say, oh yeah, go to read recruitment. You know, they can pay him for him to say that on his videos because they know that they're gonna, there's gonna be loads of people that see the videos, all right? So those are influencers, okay? So again, all these different business models that we can do, you know, I want you to be thinking about, well, which one do you like the most, okay? And you've even got things like becoming a virtual assistant, you know, uh, on places like Fiverr and Upwork. Uh, and all that is, is basically using Fiverr and Upwork or outsourcing websites of which, you know, if you wanted to do admin, you know, assistance, you know, be like a, a PA, but a virtual PA, you can advertise your services as a virtual PA on Fiverr and on Upwork, you know? Um, so yeah, and no doubt you'll get work that way as well. Uh, you can even do mobile, app, mobile apps. So, you know, obviously we've all got smartphones nowadays, you know, to create a mobile app, how they make money is allowing advertisements to appear within the apps. That's, that's how they make money. A lot of the apps are free. All right, they might have in-app purchases, but majority of the time, you know, you're making the most amount of money just by advertising, allowing advertisements to be appearing on the apps. So when you're on an app, look at the advertising because that person is paying the, mo the, the, the app owner to, um, to allow those adverts to be appearing in the app, right? And that's it, okay? So those are a number of different business models of what, you know, you might wanna, you know, you just need to decide, well, which one works for you? For me, when I first started, you know, it's always, you know, affiliate marketing because I wanted to be anywhere and everywhere. And I just loved the, I just didn't know what to, do. I didn't know what else to do really. So that worked for me, you know, but, you know, since then, you know, we've got, I've got information products and online courses. I've had a digital marketing agency, you know, I've dabbled with eBay and Amazon, you know, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into this great influencer space, like by having a massive presence on YouTube and stuff. But again, everything's work in progress. You know, um, so things will evolve over, over time. All you've got to do sometimes, everyone, is just pick, pick a topic. Just pick one. You know, just pick it. All right, yeah, that'll do. Right, I'll get started in that. Sometimes when we're trying to find the ideal, you know, perfect business model that's going to make you a million pounds in the next 10 minutes, you know, those things, it's difficult to find those. So if we just get started somewhere, look, domain auctions, I just showed you how to do that. All you've got to do is use a keyword planner. You know, any keywords that you can find that's getting traffic, you know, we can then pop them in domain auctions like Sidu and, you know, just, you know, have them sitting there. It's going to cost you minimal, but you might then end up selling them for lots and lots and lots of money. So it can be quite straightforward. Okay. So hope that all makes sense. So what is the best business model for you then? Well, how do you want to live your life? You know, if you love the idea of traveling, then you might not want to do like an eBay business where you have to buy, where, you, where you've got a load of stock. If you're buying a load of stock from Alibaba and then selling it on eBay, well, you know, if you want to travel and live, live your life around the world, then, you, you know, that might not, might, not be, not, might not be the business plan for you because you, you're not going to be around to send out stuff to the, you know, through the post office. You're not going to be around, you know? So you might want to do an affiliate marketing business or, or another you know, um, domain auctions, whatever. Because remember the domain auctions, you can buy it on a .co.uk, a .com, a .au, yeah, which, which is .australia, .ca, which is Canada, you know, um, you know, and all the rest of it, yeah, all the other extensions, .fr, .de. You can buy domain names on all of those different extensions. So you can have a business. I mean, look, we've had um, students that have just had businesses based on just, you know, domain auctions. So ultimately you wanna pick a business based on your lifestyle of what you want. I've always just wanted to be one of them guys that, you know, I just have got a backpack and I've got a laptop and I'm making, you know, 50 grand a month, you know, and nobody would ever know, you know, and that's what I've always wanted. So I've always liked the idea of just traveling and just being me. And I love that. Hence the reason why I've always done the businesses that I've done. So what about you? You know, what type of lifestyle do you want? And that will help you pick the type of business you know, that fits your lifestyle, okay? So what we need is we do need the business plan. So what I mean about a business plan, what business are you going to be doing? 
Okay. In addition, how much will you earn per, per transaction? Okay. So this is all going to formulate as a part of your plan. Don't get, don't, don't ever not do this. Because if you don't do this, then it's like, well, we're, we're not playing the game like entrepreneurs. We're just like, all oh, right, we're just, oh, yeah, I want to make 100 grand, you know, but we're not being realistic. So how much are you going to earn per transaction? How many transactions do you need in order for you to hit your goal? How much traffic do you need starting with just a 1% conversion? So how much traffic do you need with a 1% conversion that's going to give you enough transactions to help you make the money that you want to make? for you to be financially free, for example. You know, what traffic driver method are you gonna be using? You know, how much will it cost? What's your outlay gonna be, okay? So all of these type of things that you wanna definitely be considering in a business plan. This is what we always do at the start of any businesses that we ever do, okay? Remember 20% of your business will come down to what it is that I've just been teaching you you know, in terms of the different business models and, you know, how we're going to drive traffic and all the rest of it. But remember 80% and, you, you know, a lot of you have heard me speak before and, you know, I'm always going on about this type of stuff, right? In terms of we train thousands and thousands of people over the years. Does everyone go on to become successful? No. Why not? Well, it's not the training because how come some people go on to achieve success, but others don't and they're both receiving the same training. A lot of it comes down to us. You know, and this is something that we specialize in in a, in a huge way nowadays is helping people with the 80%. It's not just always about the 20%. Sometimes we procrastinate, sometimes we get stuck. Sometimes we've got a lack of self-belief and all this type of stuff. So just always keep that in mind. So it's one thing learning strategy, but then it's all about you becoming the entrepreneur that can now execute on these strategies, okay? So... Q&A, okay, I've rushed through the last little bit. Apologies about that. I just know that time is ticking. Um, so I'm going to quickly jump into the questions now, okay? So um, hopefully I've got some, yes, I've got lots of questions here. Um, let's have a quick look. Let me go all the way to the top. Right, here we go. So if you've got questions, now is the time. I've got, you know, a few minutes to run through as many questions as I can. So now is the time, okay? If you've got questions. Um, it seems that to have an, a business, you really need to have an email list. What is the best way to, of starting a list in your particular niche? Look, the best way to create a list is to create what we call a squeeze page. Now, a squeeze page is a one-page website that is designed specifically uh, just to capture people's data. So it might be, you know, have you ever thought about learning how to do an online business? Yeah. Would you like to learn the number one way of how to get started and make a hundred thousand pounds in the next 12 months guaranteed all your money back if you would like to know that info check out our free report entering your details right here okay so you know you can use you know i use something called lead pages yeah uh lead pages and all it basically is is just a real simple platform um, i'm trying to think if i've got any examples here uh, that I can quickly show you. Um, I certainly do. Let me just uh, jump into my lead pages. Let me just show you something real quick. So this is how we, um, hang on a minute, what's it in? It's in here. All right, so let me log in. Log in here, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you like a one page website. So this is lead pages. All right, come in. All right, if I come down to landing pages and scroll down, All right, scroll down, scroll down. All right, this is one here. Okay, so this is a squeeze page, okay? So, you know, you can use this for anything. You know, if you want to capture people's data, you use it for anything. You know, even if you're like a double glazing window company, oh, would you like to get, you know, um, uh, uh, a free quote, 25% uh, discount, um, and a free door handle. If you do, enter in your details and, you know, let's see what we can do for you. Do you know what I mean? So you're giving people an incentive to opt in. On here, you know, they can get access to my free training. That's what this little video is saying. And all you need to do is enter in your details and you can get access to my free training, okay? So squeeze pages are what we use for when you're just trying to capture people's data, all right? So I hope that helps, okay? 
Uh, right, let me jump back to the questions. Um, uh, right. I find many affiliate schemes via um, AWIN and other large programs need you to have a website and traffic to get accepted. How do you get over this? Look, Ray, good question, Ray. Um, look, typically traffic's not too bad. Look, a lot of the time you do, you will need a website. Not in every network, not in every network. Um, you know, if you were to just type into Google, um, top affiliate networks and just try and get access to all of them, some of them will let you in, you know, but yeah, popular, really popular ones like AWIN and Commission Junction that only really want good affiliate marketers in their platform. So creating a basic website initially is definitely the way to go. You know, um, you don't need loads of traffic and stuff, but at least create a niche website based around the sort of thing of what you want to be promoting. It doesn't have to be all singing and dancing. You know, it can just be quite a basic website, but that's definitely something that you want to do to get around that. You know, you can't, you know, if they want a website, you can't really get around that. Um, and like I say, it's mainly only the really big networks like Affiliate Window or A when they're now called, or, um, you know, um, C uh, Commission Junction, they're big ones, they're, they're huge networks. Um, so it's only really mainly the big ones that need that need that need that confirmation. Okay, um, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, what is the best type of online business for a newbie to start with? Um, they're all pretty straightforward. I mean, affiliate marketing, I'd say, you know, it will teach you loads of skills. Um, but all of the questions are coming in now, loads of them, and I've got to go in a minute. <laughs> We've got to go in a sec. Um, I'll try and get through as much as I can in the next couple of minutes. Um, but the best type of business, look, you might want to just look on, on a, a, a affiliate marketing, straightforward stuff, and it will teach you a lot of skills that you can then apply to like other things later. So with what I've learned by being an affiliate marketer, I use those skills to help me with other aspects of my online business, you know, like things like, um, you know, uh, anything that I do, you know, it's, it's all about traffic. So affiliate marketing has taught me how to drive traffic of where I can now apply that anywhere, okay? So it might be affiliate marketing, um, which is a straightforward, but there's no, oh, just do that. And that's gonna make all this money. They've all got a good chance of making you some cash. At least you don't have to worry about buying products. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, um, store, having stock, you know, um, at least you're, you're promoting other people's products um, of which, you know, you'll get paid a good commission for in the process. Uh, Zaid is saying, uh, what I want to do is highly seasonal. Uh, there is a two week window of opportunity between people finding they have a problem, which I'm very good at solving and it could be, at the, and it being too late to implement that solution. How do I get my offer in front of more of those people in time? I have some ideas, but there's no time to optimize or, or adjust the marketing. And if I get it wrong, it's 12 months before I um, can try a different strategy. Right, Zaid, you just gotta launch this. Like, you just gotta launch, launch it. Like, you know, before it's due. So, say a seasonal product like Christmas, you're not gonna wait until December, like the twentieth, to start thinking. Oh, yeah, let me try and sell this product for Christmas. You're gonna be trying to think about. You're gonna be selling that product, or you're gonna start really pushing to start start selling it by the end of October. End of October. So that then means you've got all of November, and then going into December. So, you know, for seasonal products, it's simple, straightforward. You've got to just start a good month or two or, 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 two, or two or three months prior. You've got to start that and then go forward from there. So I hope that answers your question if that's what you're asking, because, yeah, that's all you need to do is just make sure that you just have a, have a, have a, have a good enough run-up time, okay? Uh, John's asking, I've put two ads on Facebook and because they didn't like my answers, which were complicated, they suspended my account. How do I get uh, back with Facebook, um, you need to appeal that, um, of which you need to make sure you're looking through the community guidelines and ensuring that you are abiding by their community guidelines. Look, if you're not abiding by their community guidelines, there's no way around that. You know, there's no, there's nothing, we, you know, we don't own Facebook, so there's no little black hat way of getting around it. It's like, you've got to do what they say that you need to do. So after you now appeal it, appeal what it is that they're asking, um, you now just need to abide by what it is that they're saying. Otherwise, they're just not going to let you in. So that, that's all you can really do, but you can appear it, okay? Uh, my idea, this is uh, Zaid again, uh, my idea is lots of Facebook advertising for those two weeks. It uh, could be expensive if I get it wrong. Are there alternatives? Zaid, again, you just need to start that. You can't be doing that two weeks prior. No way. You know, you want to be start building that, you know, as I said, two months prior. 
you know, um, and then even then you can test things, you know, whilst we go, whilst we, whilst we go. Uh, right, uh, Dan, I'm going to be right with you. Just give me a couple of minutes. I'm just finishing up. Uh, we've got our next speaker waiting to come on board. Um, so I'll be right there with you, Dan, in just a, a minute or two. Um, so hopefully that helps you out, Zaid, with what I've just been answer, um, uh, answering. Uh, Billy's asks, what if customers want a refund um, for 40 products? Someone was talking about e-commerce. Uh, if the product's 40, if you've now bought the product from Alibaba and the product's 40 and you send it to a customer and there's 40, then of course you've got to give them a refund. You know, like this is a part of your business. It's a part of the risk that you take within your business. Like, you know, if you buy something from Alibaba, like a water filter, and then you sit and you ship that to me for free, sorry, you ship that to me and it's 40, of course I'm coming back to you. And you're selling it on eBay. So if anything, I'll complain to eBay. So you've got to then just give people a refund accordingly, you know? Um, you've got to be prepared to take an element of, this is business, everyone, you know? There's an element of, of risk, but with, with, with uh, uh, an element of risk comes great rewards. Um, I've been US-based, uh, I have a US-based affiliate um, opportunity via IBS, which I'm approaching by bulk cold emailing. What are your thoughts about this method? Um, not that great, if you want my honest answer don't like cold emailing. It's like, you know, like when people used to buy email lists and stuff like that, it's completely cold. Um, it's not something that I like the idea of really. I prefer to create my own list, which is a lot warmer, you know, because a, a cold list, it just means, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make any money. It just means that you maybe spend some, spend money and time, but you can test it. But I, it's not, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. Uh, do we have to register a sole trader um, for VA or tax? Yes, um, either that or maybe a limited company um, when you get started, Billy. Um, uh, right, I've got some people here saying that they love Arsenal football, which is great. Um, the inter internet business school education is the best. Okay, that's good to know. Um, right, I'm going to have to bring this to a close. Right, we've got thanks, a lot of thanks here. Uh, which is great. Um, I have a tough week. Uh, okay, cool, Ray. I'm glad to know that you're feeling motivated. Uh, right, that's pretty much about it, um, which is cool. Now, look, for those of you that want a little bit more assistance, if I haven't been able to get through some of the questions that you've, that you've, that you've had uh, and you want some help, those of you that want to have a bit of help, okay, um, with getting an online business set up, you know, get things moving, then look, we are here to help. We are the leading digital marketing training company here in the UK of which we are here to help. So what I'm going to do is there's a form here that if you want some help with your internet marketing, you know, if you want some help with creating your financial freedom, you know, a lot of you know what I'm all about nowadays. You know, I am very much, very big on um, who you need to become. You know, the mindset, I can teach you all the strategy under the sun. However, if we don't develop and step into that entrepreneur, then it doesn't even matter because you're not going to make any money anyway because we haven't become that entrepreneur. So yes, we teach strategy, but we also want to teach exactly, we're just fed up of people not getting results. So we really want people to get results uh, moving forward nowadays. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pop that link in the chat. Um, so the link is in the chat right here. Um, so please feel free to go ahead and click on that link in the chat. Um, oh, no, no, no. Actually, I've done it wrong. Actually, I've just done it wrong. Hang on. Sorry about this, everyone. Right. That link is wrong. I just done. Let me do it again. Um, bit.ly forward slash internet business form, a uh, school form, school form. Right, there we go. Right, internet business school form. Right, click on that. Let me just double click on that and see. Make sure that's the correct link. Yeah, that's the correct link. Okay, right. So I've just popped that link in the chat. Um, so feel free to go ahead and click on that link. And um, that's in the chat and fill that out. And I will contact you uh, probably today um, or tomorrow. Um, but feel free to go ahead and click on that. And like I say, this is if you want some help. If you're serious about achieving success, you really want to get there. You know, you really sort of, you know, you might have tried a few things before in the past, but you're still struggling. You know, you're not really too sure why you're struggling. You really, you're serious about success. You want to get there before the end of the year. You know, you're not too sure what business model to pick. You're not too sure what the first thing is to do. You're not too sure, you know, how to create your own business plan. Fill in a form and I will contact you a bit later. We can have a little bit of a chat and see if I can put you in the right direction in terms of how to really make a business work, okay? 
Now, I am well and truly out of time. So apologies for slightly going over, Dan. Uh, I'll be right with you. Um, if we just take a minute, I'll just take two minutes to fill in that form. Um, and then I'll introduce uh, Dan. So if we just take a couple of minutes um, to just fill in that form. Um, uh, no worries, Queasy. Uh, good to see that you've been on. And I will get uh, my blurb ready for Dan. Um, right, so I'm going to give you all a minute. I'm going to give you until um, 11.08. Uh, and then I'm going to introduce Dan, uh, who's our next great speaker. So uh, if you want to go to the toilet real quick or just grab yourself a quick drink, um, and now is the time because we've got like a minute to do so. Uh, and then I'm going to introduce our next speaker. Um, right, so you've got a minute, less than a minute. Less than a minute, you've probably got about 20 seconds before I now introduce, so fill out that form, click on that link. Uh, no worries, Billy, uh, I'm glad that you've got some gold, golden nuggets from today. Um, no worries, Ellie, good to know you're with us, Elizabeth. Um, no worries, Alistair, good to know you're with us, Alistair. Uh, right, anyway, we are at 11.08. So without further ado, I am now going to introduce our next speaker.